The breeding season is fast approaching and fighting has begun for the best nest boxes. Spring is on the horizon. The birds at Fotherdale now have breeding on the mines, all looking for the perfect nest sites to bring up their chicks. This means the best nest boxes are hotly contested. Over winter, Ghost and male barn owl are spending more time in a sycamore nest box. Ghost likes this nest box and for the next few months he spends most of his time here. And in January, when Ghost returns to the nest, he's surprised to find a female barn owl waiting for him. He couldn't believe his luck. This is Willow, a new barn owl to the area. Willow has a distinct golden breast and dark facial disc, so she should be easy to tell apart from the other owls. I even capture the magic moment when they begin to court, touching their beaks together. But the barn owls aren't the only ones interested in this nest. One morning, Ghost is startled out of the nest by an unusual visitor, a very inquisitive stoat. This male stoat is one of Bandita's kits from last year. Ghost chases it off. But stoats are the least of his worries. Kestrels are after this nest too. I spot a glimpse as one dashes past, just off camera. Kestrels have nested in sycamore stump for many previous years, but last year they nested down the valley in ash stump. But incubation wasn't easy, with a lot of unwanted attention from jackdaws, barn owls and tawny owls. Despite this, their five chicks fledged successfully last summer. After their ordeal last year, the kestrels might be keen to nest elsewhere. But first, they've got ghosts to contend with. The kestrels begin intimidating the barn owl to evict him from the site. The male kestrel swipes past Ghost one day as he enters, clipping Ghost's tail feathers as he narrowly escapes into the nest box. Ghost is undeterred and continues to spend his days here. Days later, the male kestrel returns, calling and posturing to frighten Ghost. Ghost lunges at the intruder, but this time the kestrel's got back up. The female kestrel uses her wings to block him into the box. The kestrel pair are persistent, returning again and again around the clock. These constant attacks seem to be irritating Ghost, so he tries out ash dump to escape the barrage. Kestrels like multiple nesting options before they decide on their perfect site, and they defend these vigorously. I notice the kestrels have their eyes on the ash dump too, and the female kestrel is quick to spot this unwanted visitor. She fans her tail feathers and wings to make herself more intimidating, and enters the nest. Ghost immediately attacks the intruder, but the kestrel gives as good as she gets. Here her frantic calls as the pair fight it out. The fight seems brutal, but the kestrel managed to grab the barn owl's legs. Unable to use his talons, he pecks at her throat. Ghost dashes for the exit with the kestrel close behind. After this attack, I feel as if Ghost has lost his nerve. So when the kestrels return to the sycamore nest, he doesn't put up a fight. Resigned, he takes a moment before leaping from the nest. With the nest empty, the kestrels finally get a chance to look inside. The pair arrive, calling to each other. The male enters and looks around. He hops outside to give the female a look. Despite having fought so hard for this nest, she seems reluctant to commit. And with other nests to choose from, she may need some convincing. But pair bonding continues as the kestrels mate. The female returns later for a second viewing. But she's startled by an intruder. 
The jackdaw wants to look at this nest too. She quickly sees it off before going for a closer look. Once inside, the female finds the nest full of owl pellets. And as the female tries to dig a nest scrape, the pellets seem to be getting in her way. So one evening I clear the nest of pellets and even add some soft chippings for the kestrels. And this spring cleaning pays off the next day. The male arrives with a mouse in his talons, closely followed by his mate. She snatches the mouse off him and then takes flight. This is a food pass and this is a really important part of the courtship process. And this male is proven it can provide for the female plus the chicks. It's going to be really exciting to see which nest the kestrels choose and hopefully we're going to have some eggs soon. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to see more. Here's a taste of what you'll enjoy seeing on this channel.